This is Mark from Black Cedar Farm. Um, could not find any relative information. I found some stuff close on installing a Summit Hydraulics third function valve uh, on a Kubota BX. This is a 23S. It's a little bit different from the other ones apparently, or some of the older ones, because the loader is now beside the seat instead of up here at the front of the um, uh, uh, cockpit where the front end loader is. Uh, we installed a, well, this is a Land Pride SGC0554. Uh, it's working great. Uh, had to do a little rig here on my connections because nobody in the world seems to carry fittings that I needed on a Saturday or we'll be fixing that. Um, but the main things that I wanted to go over real quick were the way the diagrams show this on the Summit Hydraulics uh, deal does not seem to work with the design of this front end loader. It showed it on top. Some of them showed sideways. And these brackets that they're sending now, I found the best place for me to stick. It was right up underneath. Uh, like I said, that fitting right here will be replaced with this and get rid of that big skid steer uh, style uh, to keep me from snapping that off at some point in the future. Uh, that was one of the big things. The kit's real easy to put in. When you open it up, you go scratching your head. Oh my goodness, what have I done? It's not that bad. Um, go to page one and start from there. One of the problems that, well, one of the things I couldn't verify uh, was where my uh, power beyond port is when you look in here and I'm not taking the wheel off but on the 23S it's right here this is facing the back of the from the back of the tire this is this first port your backhoe functions come off over here this is the port that you need to use when you're facing the left hand side of the tire, you'll find, I'm sorry I don't have better light. Facing the left hand side of the tire, or uh, the back tire on the right hand side, this is the left hand fitting. This is where you're gonna tie your uh, hose going to <clears throat> your left hand, your left side of your, uh, control valve over on this inside. And this one here is gonna run back up underneath the floorboard and it's easier to just take this whole panel off and the fitting is right here. And that's what it's gonna to attach to. You use the elbows that come with it and it works out perfect. Um, the only other problem that I had with this was that some of my hoses were a little long and I had to get creative and rerouting them on the bottom when I was tying everything up. But uh, just uh, wanted to get some kind of information out there to somebody that's got a 22, uh, 23S. Uh, the older ones, like I said, the front end loader was here. So it didn't look the same. I wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing. So I went ahead and experimented, pulled the trigger and I got lucky I did the right thing. Um, that's a neat little valve uh, handle that they use. It's got the two buttons on it. You can rotate it around if that's not ergonomic for you. You can turn it to the front or whatever. Uh, that just works for me. Um, tough little machine. And I have already used that this morning. I just installed it this morning and I started using it. And it's strong as an ox. So. And it's not so heavy that a Kubota can't, that little Kubota can't handle it. So, and that's all I had for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.